So, um, ladies and gentlemen, again, we've talked about parallelograms. And then last class period, I, we went and talked about rectangles. Yes? Number 12. So, it's probably because you don't follow the one earbud rule, huh? Oh. Or the hood rule, though. Uh, okay, so um, we've talked about rectangles, talked about parallelograms, but there was a couple things that we differentiated from a rectangle to a parallelogram. Does anybody remember what was one of the characteristics that rectangles had that parallelograms did not? Yes. Uh, the bisectors don't equal something like that. Something about bisectors. Oh, bisectors don't uh, equally make equal halves. So something like that. A parallelogram, the diagonals are not equal. Yeah, the so are the rectangle diagonals equal? No. Yes. Yes, they are. For a parallelogram, the diagonals are not equal. For a rectangle, the diagonals are equal. Are you sure you're not the one who wrote that? That's exactly what we wrote down in our notes last class period. I'll say it again. Look at it. Think about it. Here's a parallelogram. Is that diagonal the same distance as that diagonal? No. no. Here's a rectangle. Do those diagonals look like they should be the same size? Yeah. Yes. So for a rectangle, the diagonals are equal in measurement. For a parallelogram, they do not necessarily have to be. Okay. So that was one. And what was the other one, Guillermo? Do you remember? Something about the angles. We talked about the bisectors or diagonals um, are equal in measurement. What about the angles? Equal to what? 89 degrees, 91. 90, right? Parallelogram, we know that opposite angles, opposite angles are equal to each other. We know that consecutive angles are supplementary, right? But we don't say, but parallelogram, the angles can be anything. But for a rectangle, this is the same thing is true. Opposites are equal, um, consecutive or supplementary. However, all the angles are always going to be 90 degree angles, okay? Lauren, could you put the cap on the marker, please, so you can write this problem down? All right, so you have, here's our four points, all right? Now, the first thing I said when I'm going to walk around and check your homework, guys, I really see absolutely no reason why you guys can't at least plot the points. It's really just taking some time, getting out a sheet of paper and plotting the points, right? You still might be a little bit confused on what to do, but plot the points. So I go and plot the points. First point I plot is T. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. Next point is U. 1, 2, 3, negative 1. X, negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 2. And Y, negative 2, 4. OK, does it look like a uh, rectangle? Yeah, it could look like one, right? Is it? I don't know. Now, here's the question. If I say that these two sides are congruent, if I can show you these two sides are congruent and these two sides are congruent, is that going to tell me it's a rectangle? Yeah. Well, or will it tell me it's a parallelogram? Yeah, because I, we know opposite sides are equal, right, for a rectangle and for a parallelogram. So it could be both of them. So again, what differentiates a rectangle from a parallelogram as far as distance? Because we have to use the distance formula. What distance differentiates? a rectangle from a parallelogram. Colin, what did you say? The ones in the middle. The diagonals. The diagonals. So ladies and gentlemen, if we can show that this diagonal is congruent to that diagonal, then it has to be a rectangle. OK? It has to be a rectangle. Only if the diagonals are congruent, because the diagonals are only congruent for a rectangle. So how do we do that? Well, we got to know the distance formula. Distance equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. All right, so we're going to do this very quickly. So the first two points I want to do is y to u. So y to u. So I'm going to label this x1, y1, x2, y2. So to find the distance of uh, yu, I'll take the square root. So I have negative 2 minus 3 squared plus 4 minus a negative 1 squared. 
then I need to find the distance of xt. So I'll label this um, x1, y1, x2, y2. So to do xt, xt I do uh, negative 3 minus 4 squared, and then y2 plus 2 minus 1 squared. So I know I'll go and simplify this. Negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. Negative 5 squared is 25. Plus 4 minus a negative 1 becomes 5. 5 squared is 25. So therefore, I have the square root of 50. We go over here. I have negative 3 minus 4 is going to be a negative 49 or negative 7. Negative 7 squared is 49. 2 minus, um, 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 squared is 1. Therefore, their diagonals have the same distance. Does that mean it's a rectangle? Of course it does. That's it.